back to bank fee limbo in the first tab and we're going to be entering the data so now i'm going to look for those types of transactions that are probably the easiest types of transactions to enter into the system those being the normal kind of expenses things like the utility bill the telephone bill and so on and so forth so if i'm looking at my flow chart I'm looking at the, the vendor or expense cycle, payable cycle, you might call it, where at the end of the cycle, we would expect our cash to be going down for goods and services that we are purchasing. Now, the easiest way for that to happen with the use of bank feeds is that we set up electronic transfers. We pay our transactions as they become due for the telephone bill, the utility bill, and so on and so forth. Wait till they clear the bank and then we just record them with the bank feeds as they do so. That's what we're gonna do now. The second easiest method or step away from that, a cash-based system, but one that you're not completely dependent on the bank feeds is you write a check, a physical check, which you enter into your accounting system when you write it. And then when the check clears, it will clear with the bank feeds and you use the bank feeds to match your data input that's more of a full service accounting system because now you're using the bank feeds to verify help you with an internal control help you do the bank reconciliations or you might have an accrual system where you put the bill into the system as a bill increase in accounts payable a non-cash related item not connected to bank stuff at all therefore the bank feeds can't help you to record it and then you pay the bill and then you usually match it with the bank feed so we're doing the easiest thing here Small businesses often will do this, right? We're going to just pay the bill electronically. We're going to try to make everything automatic. And then we're going to record it with the bank feed.